Art from TCR right here with Rios. Andy. Thank you, Rios, for your package. We got some shirts, some stickers, and of course, a little juice, juicy juice. And he's here. We're gonna demonstrate how we build a for all eighty, a billet for all eighty converter. Well, that's an eighty. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. I thought we was doing a sixty. Okay. We're gonna do a little nine and a half inch, what they call a two forty five millimeter. And on this one, what's unique on this one, it's we're gonna do the LS bow pattern. So there's no need, you know, on your for all eighty swaps, people change flex plays. They need an adapter, crank adapter. But that, for this, that's what I needed on my yeah, trip. Oh, but the, we did a very gotcha. Okay. For this setup. You don't, you're not gonna need none of that bullshit. Gotcha. Oh, yeah, you got a four, four, yeah, you got a 4A, 5, 3, you know what I mean? With the, with the, with the uh, LS flex plate, mm -hmm. this bolts right into that shit. Gotcha. You got the GM universal bolt pattern, and you got your LS pilot, the long Extended, one. Yeah. Extended, yeah. Extended, yeah, the long one. So no need for a crank adapter, no need to change flex plates, because as you can see, this all GM bolt pattern here. So let's get on it. And this is a single disc. Yes, sir. This is a single disc. As you can see, carbon. It's called a high energy carbon based material, more heat resistant, wide friction ring. It's all billet part. There's no springs or adapter springs, all solid billet converter. Just one piece for some extreme heavy duty shit. Okay. Rated for? 800 horsepower. Okay. After 800 horsepower, it will bleed through. And after 800 horsepower, what's recommended is the multi disc. Multi disc. Three friction rings instead of one. Less slippage, it will lock up. Uh, this is recommended for 800 horsepower. Anything about that, you'll start having slippage and you'll start toasting up your, your friction ring. Gotcha. Let's get on it. Go for it. You know what I'm saying? So, right here, we got two GM. Front wheel drive cores. This is what we all use to do to build stalls. You know what I'm saying? This is a nine and a half inch, also called a 245 millimeter. This is your 10 inch, called your 258 millimeter. How do we determine which one to use? By the stall. You know what I'm saying? If uh, I see a lot of people out there that build a 258 millimeter, a 10 inch, that's supposedly a 3600 stall, a 3800 stall. Nope. This diameter doesn't go all the way to 3,600. The max you'll get is 3,400. Mm -hmm. I see a lot of people posting on 3,600 and a 10 inch. Bullshit, it doesn't work. If you want more than 3,400, something aggressive or something like that, this is the core to use, a little nine and a half inch. This is the most popular core to use because on this, there's various different pumps different stalls, different stators, so you can mess around with different stalls, you know what mm. I'm saying? So you could build from a 2500 all the way to a 4400. So uh, with the right combination of impellers and stators, you get the stall. So, but for this one, customer wants something aggressive and all that, so we use a nine and a half inch. So now we're gonna open this motherfucker. We're Go ahead, fool. Go ahead. Remember, we're not getting paid just yet. <laughs> we want to get paid. So let's crack it open. We yeah. crack it open in the lathe. We use a tool bit to cut the weld. Cut the weld. Right there, you're just cutting the weld, no? Exactly. We're just cutting the weld so we can get to cut open the girder. Let me get a better angle. That's all the weld here, you know. And that's it. See all that smoke and yeah. that means the fluid, no? All right. That was fast. Let's fast. Let's easy. Yes, it is easy with the correct tooling machinery. Everything's easy. So what you say? Invest in yourself. That's right. So this is a nine and a half inch converter. You got your front cover, you got your lock up piston, you got your friction ring here, you got your turbine, you got your stator, and you got your pump, also known as a uh, impeller. So by using these two, the right combination, that's how you build a stall. 
know what I'm saying? So uh, there's different different stators. So you gotta use the wrong combination in order to get the proper stock. So, size, a lot of people yeah. don't know. A lot of people don't know what they're building. They used to like I don't know what the fuck they're doing. And instead of getting a three thousand stall, you're getting a four thousand stall. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? You just gotta know what you're building. Build it right the first time. That's right. Run this That goes to the wash tank. Yes, sir. Put it in there for a couple of minutes. Water super hot. How many years you got in the business? Damn, bro. I started since I was 18 years old. I'm 38. What'd that make me? 20, 20, 20 years? Are you sure? 38, homie? Yeah, you more like a 48, motherfucker. 38. Yeah, that's 20, 20 years. 20 years. Okay. I started this year with my pops. He used to have his business in LA. Um, Bernard, matter of fact, the exact sign of fence lawsuit. You know what I'm saying? I started there. Started cleaning the fucking, you know, helping them out, clean parts and all that shit. And, uh, I don't know, I just love it. I just love it. And, uh, I did went to school. I got my AMP airframe and power plant. You know what I'm saying? That's the, that's the airplane technician, mechanic, whatever you want to call <laughs> it. Uh, but that's when I knew that having happened. So everything took a shit. Ooh. And... Started with my pops. Everything was good. Love the world they're doing, and well, ever since we started doing this, started doing this shit. Let's go. Let's go. This. Ah. Mucho caliente. Hey, that motherfucker clean is super duper clean, huh? Still dirty as fuck. Why is dirty, fool? Oh. That's cut right there, right? Nah, we leave that shit. Oh. You could edit that shit. Yeah, but that's the way we speak, so we're gonna leave it. <laughs> Wait. Ah, Tú shit. Que estás way? Nah, we leave it. That shit. I'm gonna show you right now the difference between the first. But it's gonna get a whole different wash, yeah. Okay. Further on, no? Yeah, I just walk, I'm just watching. Just right to get now. some of the fluid yeah. out of it. So I can explain something. Real quick. Gotcha. Perfect example right here. You see how it's all loose? Yeah. You want that super tight? Yeah. So that's why we send them to furnace brakes. Okay. Now I notice the difference. Okay. Okay. I'll let you explain you know it. Well, a lot of people don't do furnace brakes? No, they don't. They oh. do it's to save money? cool okay so right here we're gonna demonstrate the difference between a furnace brace and non furnace brace turn right this is your non furnace brace this is a converter we just cracked open right now as you can here all the fins are all loose that's why we send them to get furnace brace there's a turbine that's all nice and furnace brace nice and solid it fills all, fill in all, fill in all the gaps. You can tell. It's nice, heavy duty. Same thing with the impeller. This is your stock impeller, and this is a nice, heavy duty furnace brace impeller. 
So this is what we use in our stalls. These, we just send them out to get them all furnished brace and we get them back like this. Sorry. So now what we're trying to do here, we're gonna try to adapt the, uh, the Frawl 80 spline on this turbine. Also on this impeller, we're trying to adapt the uh, Frawl 80 hub. This is your Frawl 80 hub, this is your Frawl 80 spline. So we're gonna adapt all these two parts in here. We're gonna machine them, line them, tackle them, and weld them. Gotcha. Vamos para el torno. Oh, it's just gonna be fast. Okay? Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, it went straight in. So what we did right there, we machined all the outside diameter of the converter because in order to, to do all our cuts, we're gonna chuck it up. So we're gonna grab it from on the outside now. So we want everything nice and straight, all the cuts, so everything could be true to each other. So now that we have our clean cut, we chop up the, the impeller. We check for trueness. Everything nice and straight. Check it out. See, it's nice and straight. So now we can start doing cutting our our impeller. You know that itself and all that shit. Mm -hmm. Okay, 
So this is how it looks like after we do a three inch hole and a two inch hole. So now we're gonna try to do is, you know, machine, you know, clear, clean all this, deburr all this fucking cut and try to adapt this hub and this one here. So let's go to the lady and do this. Clean up all the, the holes, the, um, the rough cuts and all that, this is what you get here. It's all nice machine, all true to each other. So now we're ready to adapt these parts. Nice, perfect fit. This is what you call precision. You got your hub here. There it is. But before we start welding stuff, we want to check the height of the converter. That's very important when you're building the stall, the height. You gotta double check everything. Double check the height, dimensions, and also what we're gonna do here, we're gonna do a little assembly just to check the height and everything. So, uh, bang, get the center. And what this does is measure the height of a converter. From the mounting. Yeah, from the mount, from the pads all the way to the top. Do you want me to show the height? Yeah. So we got here. What's that real? Yeah. Six point five. Five. No manually. Oh on top? Yes. Almost seven. Six point nine. Oh, okay, I was looking at the bottom. Uh the go. top. Hold on, let it. Want to take the butt all over again? No. Ben, fucked up no worries. Oh. Let me just try to focus it. But it's uh, okay. Hold on. A four lady, the total height from the four lady should be six point nine fifty. It's right there. Perfect. So we're ready to start pre-tacking stuff, welding stuff. Bums. Take it apart on here again. Go with Big Blue. Big Blue has a date tonight. Okay. There now we're go. ready to weld all the pieces together. This is what we call Big Blue. Show them. Show them. Oh! I'd like to introduce myself, my new my new sponsor. Built by Rios. He paid premium price for this spot here. <laughs> <laughs> so if anybody's interested in taking over that spot. Taking it over. I only pay for one month. <laughs> <laughs> Just for the recording. That's right, that's right. So let's set up set up the welder. Sure. The voltage, the, the wire speed and all that. We don't want to burn this stuff up. We don't want the bulb to go through the, to the turbine. So let's set up the gun real quick. What's so cool about this machine, with a push of a button. Ready? Yeah. So what it's doing now is pre-tacking it. After it's done pre-tacking it, it takes six, six tacks. After the six, I'll do the full 360 weld. Turn it in the lane, make it look pretty. You got it.
now that we got all the parts all walled together, everything's adapted, your hub, your spline, uh, now it's time to put it together. Uh, like I said, it's a billet, single disc. It's the big advantage you have here at TCR is that we pay attention to what we build. We're not off the shelf. We don't build quantities. Mass produce. Exactly, mass produce. Every converter is custom built, and we pay, we pay attention to the build. So there's no robots here. There's no assembly line. It's, everything's so bad. So now we put it here, and again, we measure height. Remember, height is very important in custom converters. supposed to be what 6.9 6.95 good to go yeah. I'll take a picture with my phone and you're good bam so right now what we're doing we're setting internal clearance normally it's 30 thousand you gotta have clearance inside the converter or else it'll be fucking tied up. Mm -hmm. Locked okay. up and all that. So let's set this gun up. You ready? You ready? Go for it, it's recording.
good to me. You see? Oh, it's at, uh, what is it? Almost 120 PSI. So, uh, 120 PSI, it has a fucking little air bubble. Uh, yeah, it's, gonna, it's gonna show it. So, right here, we go to pink, huh? Yeah. Hello. Whatever. And here it is, a final product. A nine and a half inch for all lady billet single disc uh, with the LS bolt pattern setup. No crank adapter needed. Uh, it's a GM universal bolt pattern, so there's no need to change your flex plate if you have a 4A, 5.3, or 6.0. Uh, Yaita. All right, and don't forget to subscribe to Built by Reels channel right on, on YouTube. Make sure you turn those notifications on. Uh, follow me also, Torque Converter Rebuilders. Mira, aquí está. Andy. There it is. That's the social media, all that Facebook, Instagram, and all that. You can follow me there. You have any questions on any converter, hit me up. Um,